They shot up the sanctuary today. This has been one of the most devastating days of my life. Violence erupts outside a church in Brighton Heights as friends and family say goodbye to a loved one who was a victim of gun violence. A barrage of bullets fired outside the church during a funeral, sending several people to the hospital and others scrambling for safety. Good morning and thanks for spending part of your Saturday morning with us here on KDKA and CBS News Pittsburgh. I'm Brianna Smith and we have breaking news as we come on the air. Hours ago, Pittsburgh police confirming new details on the mass shooting and the incident that happened on the McKees Rocks Bridge. Chris DeRose is standing by with the latest developments. Good morning, Brianna. Yeah, a lot has happened overnight in regards to the mass shooting that took place yesterday in Brighton Heights. We have learned that Pittsburgh police now have two people of interest in relation to the shooting in custody, and they were taken into custody yesterday evening on the McKees Rocks Bridge. It all started around noon during a funeral service at Destiny of Faith Church in Brighton Heights. The funeral was for a victim of gun violence, a 20-year-old named John Horninas. Five people were shot. At last check, one was in critical condition. Four others were stable. A sixth victim was injured while people were running for safety. As far as a motive, police believe this was a targeted shooting and a turf war raging between rival groups. Hours later, police department took into custody two per people of interest on the McKees Rocks Bridge after a gun was tossed from the bridge. Now, police have confirmed that these two people detained are in connection with the shooting and following the shooting, of course, Mayor Ed Ganey and several other city leaders gave an impassioned plea to residents to stop the violence. We need to make sure that this never happens again. And we will be working around the clock to do whatever's necessary to apprehend those that did this heinous thing today. Now, no word yet on who these two people in custody are, but as details continue to emerge about this investigation, we will certainly keep you up to date. For now, reporting live at police headquarters here in Pittsburgh, Chris DeRose, KDKA News.